Two leaders, first pole position in MotoGP on his Yamaha debut. But Steady Eddie's at the front and he will ride that Ducati to the limit, but probably not. The precise riding style, it really, really works immaculately through that third sector. And that's where he's able to take time out and give it to So Look, in the third sector, he found three tenths. Third sector, the GP17 Ducati, around 215 miles an hour down this thousand meter long straight. That's the gap as they come into two. Through the first sector on lap 14, he's right on Davizioso's rear wheel. It's not a case of if, but when for Maverick Vinales. The 22-year-old Spaniard who started this race for the first time in pole position. He's lining up all the way round. Will he try to take it before they get into turn six? Andre Davizioso, and now he leaves the Qatar Grand Prix. Rossi's on the charge as well. Last time around, he put in a PB lap, 156.471. Marquez struggling to hang in there. He's on that soft option rear tyre. In theory, Vinales should have the better endurance, the better grip for the crucial latter stages of the race. Yeah, but if he can be close enough, and it's six laps to go when they cross the line. Yeah, he's done it. He didn't have to try. All he had to do was wind the throttle on. The top speed of the Ducati is mind-blowing. He just knew it. Last lap. To not make that happen, Rossi's not out of it yet. The place probably is. Look at that. Bye bye. Thank you. If the Vizioso can start impeding with Vinales' pace, it's just bringing Valentino Rossi right back into contention. Last time around, again at the top three, Rossi. Here we go. Here we go. He's back in front. No great surprise. It's really a question now. Can De Vizioso stay close enough to beat him on the run? Use the grunt and horsepower down the straight. Vinales will now be desperately trying to put some distance between himself and the tracking to Caddy GP17. Rossi decided, and he's close enough, you've got to say, again, Andre De Vizioso, as they come into 16. Look at the Yamaha, the M1. Look at the GP17 Ducati. Or is the Ducati just going to blitz by? No, it's not. Vinales stands firm. Now, that could be absolutely crucial. He's out wide, though, in the first corner. He's out well wide. Domizioso. What's he doing here? The boss of Ducati looks on. He can't watch. Here comes Vinales again. It's a three-way battle now. That was the first mistake we've made. So I was going to slipstream him. He's back through, though, at turn six. I think Vinales ran in deep there because he left his braking as late as he dared, thinking he was going to get passed by Davizioso on the crash twice. This is the battle at the front. Four and a half laps to go. Maverick Vinales leads the way. He's sandwiched between the two works Yamahas. In 2015, Andrea Davizioso lost to Jorge Lorenzo in Yamaha. So in Valentino Rossi in Yamaha, last year it was Jorge Lorenzo in Yamaha, is it going to be this year Maverick Vinales in Yamaha? That if he doesn't pass him at turn 16, he's not close enough, there's no way that Rossi is going to be able to outdrag the Ducati down the straight. Here we go, the battle of horsepower once again. And here he is, as he always is, right at the sharp end, breathing all over the back of Andrea that shows on Maverick Vinales. Everything at the front to just prize open some precious meters over the Vizioso before they get to turn 16. Three and a half laps to go. Rock. Netty Murley software absolutely working brilliantly. Andre de Vizioso is still in the victory hunt, even though he's out there on that soft option Michelin rear tire. We know that the Ducati Vizioso, coupled with his smooth riding style, is still able to hang right in there with two riders around him who are running medium option tires and who at this stage of the race would like Danny Rajosa and Scott Redding any moment now back at the front there will be three laps to go when they cross the line of the race a 156-2 just quicker than Vinales he got close enough coming out of the final corner he knew he could use the slipstream on the run down to the first corner nobody is late on the brakes and Andrea De Vizioso and with two and a bit laps to go he's back at the front I thought he may be out of it to be honest with you he is quick round here Vinales well He's making that Ducati very wide indeed now, isn't he? Yeah, Just he is. blocking him at every single manoeuvre. Sort of an advantage. And Vinales, on the last four, five, six laps, has led the way at this point of this la of a lap. Yeah, the Vizioso can't. As in Rossi, Rossi's dropped back half a second behind the top two. Now, if Vinales doesn't get in front of the Vizioso coming down out of drop a fair bit back Alex Rins to have any chance of winning on his Yamaha debut he can't slipstream the Ducati down the straight Yamaha have worked incredibly hard in the winter to make sure that they alleviated one of their big problems swarming all over the back of Davizioso he's about to attack any moment soon surely 
Up at turn four, Davizioso makes that Ducati big and wide. This is as good. He is going to win this race. One and three quarter laps to go. We're carrying on where we left off in 2016. This is MotoGP. And it's because otherwise he knows the inevitable will happen. Davizioso will just blast past him on the straight. Vinales now has got to get his head down. Push hard through this third sector where he's so fast. One and a half. Laps to go, opening round of the World Championship. Great ride by Alexis Spargo. This will be a pretty turn 16. Has Vignales got a big enough advantage? Can Davizioso pass him coming down into turn one? This is a run. Davizioso. That's the battle of the fifth between Pedrosa and Alexis Spargaro. Mark Marquez is in a really lonely fourth place. He's 3.7 seconds back of Valentino Rossi. Tire, has he anything? to knock the top gun out of his stride. Up at turns four and five, three quarters of a lap to go. Vinales, desperate appearance of four Yamaha, as Andre de Vizioso is riding the legs off that Ducati with the softer rear tyre option. Half a lap. Touchable, unbeatable. It might be a bridge too far now for de Vizioso because this is where Vinales has serious pace. Again, he slides that Yamaha super. A sensational debut win here for Yamaha. Maverick Vinales Oof. down towards turn 14. Now into shape coming out of turn number 14. That would have cost him crucial momentum. It is game over. Mint Vinales is going to do it. Maverick Vinales, the 22 year old Spaniard, on his Yamaha debut, wins here in Qatar.